welcome to the land of rain. Short for the lore, it used to be known as the land of Oo, as you well know. It's where Adventure Time takes place. It's one of my favorite shows, and it's kind of where the lore of the game takes place. We'll get into that in a second. We got 3,821 hours, you know. Here's the achievements, they're all on. This is all done in survival. It's an SMP. We have a couple of other members. Let's take a look at their names real quick, I guess. We have our friend, the Grim Reaper 78423, NY Rocky 1192, Pitmaster 3594, who's also Headhunter 2823, but. They're not really much, not really playing much lately. We got PlayStation 7262 and Young Attila, who hasn't really been on lately as much either. Anyways, so here's our starting point. This is pretty much where our party will spawn. Yeah, I think we're about to get attacked by Sky Rats. Yeah, Stonehenge. This took me a minute to make. It is slightly off by one pillar from the original, but everything else is up to scale because. Of the original was like 39, I think, or something like that, and it'd just be weird to have an odd number, just circles, you know, Minecraft. Too. Yeah, it would just be weird. Oh, here we go. Here's a sky rat. So, oh, 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 no, no, not today, buddy. Yeah, you get trapped. Well, this also doubles as a vine farm, as you can tell. I'm surrounded by mycelium. Oh, 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 oh we're getting more. <laughs> All right. We got the puzzle in the background, I haven't finished spreading it, you know, it's still a work in progress. This world was started in 1.16, we progressed, and yeah, I mean, I this one I more or less started playing Minecraft, you know, when the whole COVID thing started happening. Let's get a look over the top. Whoa, we got a friend over here, you couldn't catch me, kiddo. Uh -huh. Whoa, sky rats. So yeah, we got some custom mushrooms over here. Ow! And... That's actually the bloodstone. Yeah, has a little secret in it. Show you guys. Uh, normally the vines go over. Oh, yeah, it's a shulker box. Whatever I want. Hide still from the server mates. All right, you're gonna get it now. That's it. Huh? Get out of here. You? You wanna get some too? Here, have some fire. All right. Next. Oh yeah. Um, I guess we'll show you from the top. Yeah, we got ourselves. The the good old Big Ben over here. It's actually fully operational. Shows the time and whatnot. Let's see if we get a good look. Um, from here. There we go. Yeah, see, that's the digital, well, you know, analog, whatever you want to call it, clock. Kind of digital. <laughs> yeah, those uh, snakes over there by green design. I kind of retextured it more or less. You know, I added some cool teeth. Yeah, Sky Rat, here we go. Here's your greatest fear. <laughs> You're gonna get it now. Anyway. Yeah, those guys too. So, there's that guy. Yeah, we got ourselves the Big Ben hole. We'll take a look in there in a second. Yeah, also for Keys and Cliffs, I started digging out this boy. Yeah, so it goes down to Bedrock. You know, here's my chest monster with all the resources messed obsidian so far, which is kind of hindered hindered the process. And I'll show you in a second. Yeah, most of the stuff got moved to the storage facility. But still, a lot of it has it, as you can tell. Yep. Yeah, let's uh, give you a little tour of what this is about to be. It's gonna I'm gonna turn into a dragon actually eventually. You basically fly down this whole thing. It's gonna be like a nice carved out dragon. You know, like a bat cave feel to it as well. Uh, sure. so, well, this used to be right here. And there's uh, axolotls used to spawn in here. You know, so one of those aquifers that I just decided to just keep its original shape. Yeah, that's where the Batman kind of feel. Like, you know, where his Batmobile stays and stuff. With yeah, with that passage over there. That's why I kind of I kind of sealed off most of these cave entrances as much as I could with all the stone that I mined out, mainly because I was too lazy to bring it back to the storage facility. But at the same time, it was kind of driving me nuts with all the gravel pits. Honestly, this is so much, so much gravel. It was just, oh, it just, oh. 
I just undug entire cave systems thanks to this gravel. Anyway, let's continue flying down. So yeah. Oh, we got some momentum right there. This is another little cave system actually. Hmm. Let me just take a little gander. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I don't know, I just kind of felt like it needed like a magical mystical staircase. You know, we'll obviously turn this into something way prettier once we dig everything out. But yeah, this is like another cave system over here. See, that's the waterfall down there. More or less, we kind of finished flying. It's just all watery thanks to the huge, huge, huge amount of lava. As everybody knows, lava is so much fun to mine. So much fun, as you can see. It's uh, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, yeah, it's kind of. That's that's that's, that's why. This this is this is like three water buckets, just so you guys know. This is literally like there's that one right there. Yeah, and you, you block that out. But this is all gone. And I think there's one more. No, actually, it's just two water buckets. Yeah, this is just two water buckets, ladies and gentlemen. There's another one right here. Yep, this is the one. That's it. Uh, that's, that's all it takes. Oh yeah, old world gen, you know, meets new world gen. This used to be one of those geodes that just got cut off with the bedrock that was right here at this layer. See? Right here. That's bedrock. Clean as a knife. My little bedrock quarry that leads into like some cave systems down there. I'm not gonna bother showing you guys. It just kind of opens up into a little bit of a cave. Yeah, this is the... This is monstrosity, all hand dug, no, uh, no TNT blasting, no, this was not here. I mean, you know, just a bunch of gravel pits and here and there a couple tunnels, but, yeah. Uh, huh, let me show you the other gravel, I mean, the other quarry while we're right down here. Let's see, we got this bad boy right here. There's some cool stuff here, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we got, this is Big Ben, you know, right above us, zero, zero, as you can see, on the coordinates. Yeah, you get the point. I'm not going to start flying up. Hmm. Best way in here, I guess. Yeah, let's just drop in there. Oh, this is a good old slime suffocating. Yeah, this is doubled up as a slime farm. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is a little exhibit for our museum piece. Originally this was a museum above, you know, we're going to make it, obviously we didn't make it yet, but, um, yeah, it's going to be a nice museum. This is one of the pieces. I'm really glad this is the spot I chose the museum to be. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Bedrock. Bedrock. And zero. Yeah. Well, not zero. You get it at five. Yeah, there's more over here. Apparently if water somehow magically was like a... Yeah, this is originally world gen, by the way, world generated. This was weird like that as well, world generated. And, uh, you know, those aquifers that just magically appear at Bedrock. Maybe you guys have this in your old worlds as well. Check it out, I don't know. But there's a couple of them, you know. That's one, that's two. And there's a couple more right there, three and four. Yeah, some loose Bedrock. Not much else, really. Other than, uh, we got a geo down here. Oh, we should probably seal that up. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, 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 hello. Yeah, we got a geo down here. Needs to be, like, secured and such. Nothing else, really. Just hasn't, I haven't really done much in case of clips, honestly. I just waiting for the warden. Oh, boy. He's not gonna let me leave, is he? Okay, here we go. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you, you guys want some of this? Yeah, 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 you, you, you. You enjoy that. Let's have some food. Yeah, there's this weird glitch in realms also, where like, if you guys notice the hunger bar kinda decides to not generate. Yeah, let's get out of here. Of course, there's a bunch of slime chunks, you know, you just dig straight through that. Best way to get back up. Let's, uh, I guess, go through Big Ben. Here we go. A good old water elevator. Bada bing. Bada boom, baby. We going up. And, uh, yeah. 
so this part right here I want to build a bridge towards the museum I still haven't really figured out a nice style for it so I kind of left it open you know we got a river running around the whole island this place is called Rome by the way you know because all roads really lead to Rome and this is kind of like the center and <laughs> makes sense our little chess monster you know yep I'm not here to show you my chess monster though so let's see the good stuff no staircase, no real interior yet. Still need to figure some of the stuff out. Hold on. Let's see. So we got ourselves a jukebox. Automatic. Because, you know, Bedrock be nice like that. Missing a couple CDs, obviously. Yeah, I'm pick step. <laughs> Let's not talk about pick step, man. I can't, well, I've gone through like 22 bastions trying to find that thing. And uh, Lorraine, I kind of just don't want to explore any chunks. Yeah, you could actually see the world from over here. A little secret hideaway. You can't really see that from back there. No, can't either. Yeah, a little nook and cranny, you know. Yeah, this is where the staircase kind of starts at the moment. We got another portal, not linked yet. A little bed in case anyone wants to sleep. Some chest monster activity. <laughs> yeah, so we'll keep going up. This is the clock. This is where the magic happens. It's by Skippy Six Gaming, and that's just a little reminder that the hoppers have 64 and 61. Because if you just leave the chunk, since I made it on zero zero, there's four chunks, just and all kinds of nightmares happen. But I don't recommend building it across chunk borders, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, yeah, sometimes these boys, the actual red, the redstone block disappears, believe it or not, and the items get duped. But other than that, I also did a little fix. Sometimes right here, in the tutorial that they gave you, there's like a redstone piece that connects right there and then it just gets stuck and it just gets powered and the whole thing just stops working and you gotta just break it down. So I made a little adjustment as you guys can see over here on the side. I don't know if you guys wanna make a tutorial on that. Yeah, just, you know, Give me a heads up, I guess. Uh, I wouldn't really want to do it though, because it's someone else's video, you know. But just a little helper, maybe like a quick, like th tw 20 second help. Over here is the Big Ben Chime. Don't have the roof yet, because Realms, for some reason, on the Switch, they just don't let me download a backup of the world, so I can't even figure out a great color. But I mean, I've just figured out I'm just gonna cut to the chase and do it without the world. Edit whatnot, well, not world edit. Uh, I don't do world edit. The you know what I'm talking about the copy creative copy and just check what we'll see what works. Yeah, this is green snakes. I think I mentioned that earlier. Yeah, you know, making good old lava. My own design to it, kind of like a spin to it. You know, a little bit of flair with the teeth and such. And uh, yeah, look at that. Down below, we got ourselves a yin and yang symbol. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Back there is my shop. We'll get to that in a bit. Let's just continue on a little tour of the way we started the world, more or less. You see, when we first began the world, I don't remember if we used lava for this or just regular cobblestone. But yeah, this was our little bridge across. Boom, boom. We get up over here. And, you know, we have, I haven't done much to this because it's going to be a a bridge coming across from here you know everything's gonna be nice and pretty more episodes further in and yeah we started the world I believe my first starter house yes yes here it is in all his glory <laughs> just dug it you know the good old dig into a wall but just kind of made a wall of my own Got blown up a bunch of times. Let's see what's here. Yeah, the good old days. Oh, look, the heart of the sea. Not bad. Anyway, bad. You know the usual stuff. No need to look at that. Ice farm up here. I thought it was like the coolest thing. I was like, oh man, we have a place where we could generate ice. Oh my God, we're like the greatest server in the world. <laughs> oh my God, is it mined out or just? <laughs> Pitiful. 
Okay, maybe honestly, honestly, some of our trunks got like messed up. So maybe this isn't even like a frozen, like a place that where it snows type of thing. Or maybe it got raised since like the update. I, I don't know. I gotta check it out. I don't think this is police operation anymore. Anyway, here's our first house really like kind of for the group. Alright, we're good. Yeah, all our, all our pets. Hello. <laughs> Little cobbles on generator over here. Oh, there's lava, you know. Yeah, there's basalt. I'm not going to show you what's inside the chest. Uh, you know, the usual stuff. Yeah, some of the stuff is labeled. Yeah, we have a lot of rods. Spend a lot of time fishing over here. You know, we have a little fishery. Had some fun here. Jukebox for the fishing. And I believe weight CD? Oh no, we have a bunch of CDs, but yeah, weight. That's what we use for fishing. A little hideaway stuff. This was scavenger hunt, actually. This, uh, this piece. It was hidden inside the egg compartment. Oh, the chicken's dead. Oh, never mind. Well, yeah, there used to be chickens over there. Uh, yay, look, look at that, yeah, that's how we know we champions, we got the dragons, and then dragon heads, and then dragon egg, and we the champions, baby, beacon in the middle, wow, so impressive, so crazy, <laughs> this is when we first started playing, we were like, oh yeah, we're greatest, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, there used to be, I think, bees in this, I think, yeah, they, they, they're all dead, they all, they all, no, well, they just wandered away, oh, 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 yeah, it's just, <laughs> these guys, my friend uh, Reaper and Rocky's house. Mm, yeah, I guess I'll show it off. Why not? There we are. We got. Uh, I guess I'll leave that more or less for their video. Oh yeah, these are their banners. We got Master Chief, and then we got the Harley Quinn over here. A little bit of a map. I'm not sure if that's too updated. I'll show you guys a better one later, and well, a bigger one. Yeah, you get the point. Uh, we got a little game console over here, you know, you play the games and then a boom boom, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I was never too good at this Jumpman game, I uh, yeah. A uh, little way out over here, look at that, oh, uh, get me back in there. <laughs> Alright, you know, there's a bed, and they got a little TV going on over here. Yeah, aquarium, and boom, back outside, baby. That's PlayStation's house, interesting. Oh, he does have a way in there. I mean, he's working on it, kind of, more or less. Let's see, we got a... Yeah, we got the inside over here. We got a painting, you know, we got a nice good old basalt floor, so fancy. Uh, I believe this is Jungle Wood, only the fanciest from all. And then uh, you got the minion banners, look at that, baby. We, 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 you know, we balling out here. We, we, we don't do things so quick in the way, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's a future project. Don't worry about that. Don't don't ask no questions. Don't don't don't. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. Interesting. Ah, okay. I get it. Cause there's no mobs out here. Smart, smart, smart. A little waterfall peak area. We get to look around from. I guess we'll take that over. Over to this technically abandoned house now. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting attacked in the water. Oh, I'm a wise guy, huh? I got a wise guy here. Any more of you wise guys? Alright. Here we go. Straight aerial swoop. Boom. Got a little garden. Baby. Look at that. Mm. Nice little couch. Sit down, watch my beautiful TV over here, you know. A little banner. It's crazy, you know. Got a garden patch. With a little scarecrow. Yeah, look at that. Look at that fancy scarecrow. It's so fancy. Yeah, of course, through, you know, the usual, this is just, just for show, you know, this is manual form for show, kind of. We don't really use this anymore. We're, we're too fancy for that. This is Young Attila's house. He honestly deserves some cobwebs. I 
if you're totally bent and you don't get cobwebs, it doesn't make sense. Oh, chickens, chicken eggs. You, you enjoy that. Oh, even more. No, no, no chickens for me. Thank you very much. Uh, our enchanting room. I believe so. You know, we got, we got stuff. We get stuff. You know, we got the stuff. All kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, from fishing, really, mainly those. <laughs> We have a trading hall, don't worry about that. This is a little brewing station, you know, with the brewing supplies and such, a uh, little infinite water source, and, you know, the basic rudimentary stuff, just in case you ever need it. Oh, here's my banner. We get a tutorial for that later, the Joker BB. Even as a little bat. Yeah. Just in case you're not sure from where it's from. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's see. Where to next? I guess our original gold farm. Yeah, this bad boy right here. I gotta give him some shout out, right? Right, 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 right. Oh, look at that. Yeah. We decided to hide it underground. Oh, yeah. Should I show it off? Should I show it off? Yeah, you get the point. It's a gold farm. The ticks and all that, you know, it's good. <laughs> There's a bed in my shaft and all that. It works. It's the old one. We'll show you the new one later. Don't worry about it. The goat in the boat challenge. You know what's the bad boys. Bad boys. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. Would you like a slice of this? Do we need some food? Is that what it is? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's take a little flight over to our storage area. I guess we should show you the great doors. The doors are by, uh, what was his name? What was his name? Oh boy. You know, the doorman. The guy with the doors. You know what I'm saying? Uh, read the name on the screen. Uh, he's, he's right there. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. And you press the button. Bada bing, bada boom so smooth like butter baby and it's our storage facility and not really you know complete yet but you know we got a little target block area set up over there this used to be actually like a fighting pit down there oh you know we still gotta light up some spots <laughs> anyway yeah we got some you know some stuff we got some stuff it's all manual at the moment I don't know. Automated storage facility is just gonna just feel like it's gonna lag our stuff out. Here's the map. Yep, we're right here at the moment. Right here. Yep, that's Big Ben. And that's the Yin Yang symbol with the Stonehenge. Yeah, this is the world tree over here. We're, we got some wood farming. Stables, we'll show you that's the project we're working on currently. Industrial district right over here. Yeah, it's a little helipad, you know. And we got the Coliseum. We'll see that in a bit. And the shopping district. Right in the back. It's still in the work of progress, like I said, everything, and I guess we'll take a look at the I guess the first work in progress, why not? It's right here. I guess the best way to do it is to give you the aerial view. So it's going to be like a infinity symbol kind of thing going on with a racetrack. Because this is our stables. Essentially, up and under kind of situation going on. Two statues in the middle. And yeah, we have good old speed horses hack bug going on. Generation Hemdal 25. Yeah, we at the moment I'm working the donkeys. Uh, we originally had the horses going over here as well, which got up to generation 35. The ones in operation are generation 36. I'll show you that in another in a bit. Yeah, originally we also had that bug going where you could get the potions. You know that, that helped out a bunch, but then I had to get the update going, so we got ourselves the auto potion brewer right downstairs right over here it's a little manual wheat farm 
my friend and NY Rocky kind of took care of putting this baby up. Yeah, look, there's a little bit of fishies over here and a little aquifer that was here. Yeah, this is manual and automatic sugar farm, sugar cane farm. So it's so fast. Here, why not? Why not? Why not? It's so fast that the thing doesn't even keep up. Look at that, you turn it off for a couple seconds and then, then the hopper my car down there is just like, oh my god, what are you doing to me, man? What are you doing? You see what I'm saying? Well, you get the point. Alright, anyway, this is the auto potion brewer. You push the button and then look at that. There's three potions. Three potions, right? Boom, you push the button. You get three more potions, baby! And then it starts potion brewing by itself, all thanks to your man, Silent Whisperer. Burr, burr, burr. Look at that, look at that. And these are two potions. I thought the hopping would work too, but it turns out. Uh, it turns out it doesn't. Oh, and obviously, you know, we got the bottles filling up as well. Yeah, we got the one by Silent Whisperer. Yeah, we got some bottles back there just in case of emergency. And here are the recipes in case I forget what to refill. This is the one for the Speed 2. This is the one for the. Leaping to and oh yeah, mm -hmm, mm hmm this bad boy. Yeah, I was farming for this bad boy. Don't, don't tell me. I mean, don't let me tell you how annoying it is to get those bad boys. I'll show you that bad boy maybe in a sec. Well, we gotta get to the totally different area, but we'll see. Yeah, that's basically it for this area. We're gonna get a whole entire overhaul. So it's not gonna look like this anymore. I need to chunk align everything. Well, I chunk align everything up there, but yeah, the whole ca the cages are gonna be chunk aligned because like some of these guys actually crossed over some borders and then despawn and then just oh boy, it's just a nightmare. It's gonna be beautiful, trust me. This one, some of the first few episodes is gonna be about honestly. That's why I held off on continuing making this because I want to finally got my capture card. Oh, I guess um, yeah. Let's see. Here we go, Slack Lizard's farm. This is his drown farm. I'm gonna turn that into Cthulhu. See how it like naturally kinda looks like a skull face? Yeah, it's gonna have like a good old Cthulhu just hanging over, like looking over at us. Yeah, mainly it's just producing ink at the moment. I don't really, you know, the tridents are from a different area more or less. I'll show you that in a bit, Port Royale. Let's see, industrial district. Let's see, let's see. Oh, this river is all hand carved by, you know, NY Rocky himself. This wasn't here. So, yeah, this is General Mob Farm over here. This bad boy, JC Plays. Honestly, the Industrial District is mainly JC Plays stuff. Here's our Auto Fish Farm, JC Plays. You just look at that and then you get fish. You know, and all that. It still works. Still works. B farm. I believe JC plays also. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, guys, hey, guys, hey, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Oh, 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 no. Alright, well, I guess, I guess it's happening. Okay, they want to die. <sighs> Good old poison. <laughs> anyway. This one's my design, uh, yeah, just, I thought it was so cool, I was like, oh, look at that, I ran some rails underneath the thing, and, <laughs> yeah, it, it works, it works, it gives you stuff, okay, it gives you stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is over here, we got ourselves a mushroom farm, there's some mushrooms, this is a beeswax, yeah, I think those bees escaped from here. Interesting, yeah, this is for the wax. We got lots, lots, and lots of wax. At the moment, not so much, but yeah, lots of honeycomb over here. And I think I have the automatic, yeah, automatic sugar cane over there. You get the point, you don't need to see that. Hmm. Yeah, the good stuff, you know what. Now, we go down this elevator over here. You know, manual course, in case I have a just need like one or two or if something goes wrong downstairs there's one over there this is our first lifeblood right here the good old iron farm by JC plays himself 
one of the earlier gens. Still works like a charm, let me tell you this much, ladies and gentlemen. We got uh, over here, some of it's been used, obviously. Well, a lot of it's been used. Yeah. And it all goes get collected down there. Let's see, bada bing, bada boom over here. The good stuff. The good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, right there. See, it works, it works. It, 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 does, it, does, it does this thing, yeah, I think. It takes like once in a while there's like this weird thing where you gotta let it get started for like 10 seconds. But yeah, see, look at that. Look, some iron golem dying in there. Yep. Uh -huh. Now, as far as going downstairs, boom, we go a little bit further down and we get to the slime farm. Yeah, believe it or not, this is right above a slime trunk. How amazing is that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're all over the place. But yeah, there is one where I slated. I believe this is the snow golem method. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, snow golem. Behind the thing. And, you know, slime get attracted. They love them. You get fallen down, collected, and you get the point. You know, nothing too crazy. Oh, and obviously lots of wandering traders have met their demise. Because <laughs> they just love that place. This leads to, like, a cave, honestly. And I'm not going to show you that. Here we go, we got ourselves, oh, this also technically a cave, this is the beacon, cave, more or less the railway kind of thing, it's a more or less, that's an abandoned project, because we decided to do the aqueducts up above, which is going to be a railway system, that's going to be exciting. Yeah, so a little bit of another war thing going on over here with some vines, let's see, yeah, you just flush that over there, you know, rudimentary. Nothing too crazy. Let me show you the good stuff. You just keep climbing. Keep on climbing. Here we go. We got ourselves a good old, you know, furnace system array thing going on. Fuel. You put the stuff in there. If you want to put a whole shelter box, bada bing, bada boom, it starts going. You flick the lever right here, boom. And then you flick it again to stop it. You know, nothing too crazy. All right. So, you know, it works. It, it does the thing, you know. This is the stone generator, you flip this, you go ahead and stand over here, and then you look at the thing, and then bada bing, bada boom, ladies and gentlemen, you got yourself the stone. See, over here you got a glass thing, so that way you're not too close, sometimes it, you start breaking some of the stone back there, that's not good, we don't want none of that. See, it's the good old hopper clock in the back. I think this is a JC design? might be misquoting honestly you just type in stone generator you get you get the guy you get the guy you know who it is for those of you who know you know why i honestly i'm sorry i'm sorry i should be better than this but i i don't i don't know i don't know <laughs> right, here we go here's our manual but you know automated also kind of with the flushed flooding core fruit and nether war you know you just also kind of if you ever want to look, get some target practice, it grows different every time. So, we got ourselves a Unbreaking Infinity Bow with some arrows, and you know, you do your thing. This is the things that you need to reset the farm, by the way. Three stacks of Nether Wart, and 30 Gorge Flowers, just in case someone never needs to reset it. More or less, we don't use this too much. I do, but for my Red Nether Brick. Yeah, over there I used to make a creeper farm, but it didn't work out too well. And a lot of the stuff was Java Edition, I think. It just didn't work. Yeah, we got ourselves a moss farm. I believe this one's Prowl's design, actually. Yeah, Prowl's pretty good. There's a bit of a problem I had. I don't remember what it was exactly. I think it was like something up here with the redstone being something maybe realms related or something I, I, I changed something I, I changed something something was changed here if you see the difference between prowl's design and mine slightly there's something slightly different somewhere yeah <laughs> i don't know if you guys are interested in having the same problem uh, i'll put up a tutorial for like how to fix it and whatnot yeah this thing pretty much self-generates bone meal yeah, see that? And powers itself eventually has a surplus, and if you really just need bone meal, you know, you come down here and get that bone meal. Mainly I use it for, you know, getting 
good old flowering azalea and the azalea and if I ever need some moss carpet pretty much go down here moss box obviously but uh yeah and you know turn that off if I ever need to stock up if not you know boom, 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 it just shoots back up as bone meal you just flip that lever on and off and that's it huh is that labeled wrong I believe so I believe it is is it no 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 it was labeled right it was labeled right <laughs> all right guard cat just in case no creepers I don't need no creepers yep you just climb back up here and then you just end up at the industrial district yep back here oh that's the warp fungus tree and whatnot farm, right? Uh, yeah, my friend, uh, NY Rocky decided to make it not work anymore, so it stops working. I mean, stop working. Here we go! The most epic, epic thing I've built, honestly. This was, uh, inspired by Tridor. Not exactly like his design, you know, I kind of put my own spin to it. I did take the column design, I believe. I believe the columns are 100% his. Just, yeah, just straight up just jacked them, you know, just may put, switch them out with some quartz, pretty much. This little entryway, yeah, yeah, yeah look at that. Mm, mm, look at that, beautiful. Mm. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, almost fell down the hole. Yeah, oh, 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 how do we have so little health? What is happening? Watch us pop a totem or something. Oh my god, this uh, HP bar thing is kind of a pain. Oh boy, can you please not kill me, please? Please. <laughs> Just trying to give a tour to the people. The people, man. The people. You want me to spend more time on here so you could murder me? Well, I gotta show the people first what I'm doing. Maybe they'll inspire me to build some more and then that way you can see me some more and kill me some more. Yes. How do you even get down here? This guy. That's what you get, my guy. So basically, this is uh, my mob head farm collection area, pretty much. And CDs, I guess. Change the way that mobs spawn with the lighting, so I have to remove the bottom 10 blocks. That's how far, I think it's 11 or something like that, these guys are spawn. I mean, the, the lighting works from the crying obsidian, right? It's like a 10 level. And over here in the middle, right, no, no, the, the rain, yeah, the rain comes down here with the lightning. If you ever need to go ahead and real quick create a charge creeper. You know, you get you get the idea. It's, there's no lightning at the moment. Yeah, the little creeper face over here. Look at these. Ooh. At the moment, I kind of take a pause on this project because A, you got to remove this obsidian and then put regular obsidian, which is going to be really dark and you can't see spiders. Uh, and as you can see, the ceiling. Mm, the ceiling. Yeah, the ceiling. There's a little bit of a problem with the ceiling. Yeah, I guess I should keep this out from my for its duration of the tour. No spider, get away from the spider. Yeah, the ceiling. I didn't realize that it was a smooth quartz variant by running it through the furnace and yeah that whole ceiling just needs to get replaced ladies and gentlemen oh my god it's gonna be a pain it is gonna be a pain but we're gonna get to it and yeah this is a little cd collection area you kind of just trick the skeleton to shoot the creeper you know there's a little trap doors on top so a creeper can't get over here i mean creeper can't get in here but skeleton can't so you just shoot it sitting here pew, pew, pew. you know city gets collected you don't gotta get blown up collecting it once in a while a creeper does blow up for some reason magically i have no idea but yeah here's the cds it works yeah this is the beauty so let's see let's see what's next yeah, oh, look at that. We got ourselves a nice statue. Look at this gorgeous fella. This one's a Tridar. All Tridar. Straight up. 
banner obviously is mine, but yeah, that's a Trotter statue. I believe Roman statue or something like that. I'll leave a description, I mean a link in the description and whatnot for everybody's name that I kind of more or less mention. Over here you kind of like walk through this little area. Oh yeah, the whole, the whole river adventure. The river adventure, you, you, you see a little river adventure. I might even throw that as the intro, who knows, who knows. We'll, we'll do that in a second, but look at this. Look at this, oh, mm, 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 look at that. Ooh. Oh yeah, we fancy in here. We fancy like that, bro. Look at that. Mm. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the crazy trading hall that we have. This used to be sheep. Somehow, magically got hit with lightning underground. Yeah, we don't. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. I don't know how that happened. I believe this leak thing in here from the thing, who knows, there's a little leak happening at the moment, but that was intentional. We got a lava farm, you know, and this continues on uh, into the river over here if you ever want to. Yeah, we should take a magical boat ride, we should, we should do that. Hey horse. Hmm. Should we just take it with the horse, Are we, can we do that? Uh, yeah. I, 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 I leave the horse somewhere here. Uh, uh, he'll figure his way out. He'll, he'll do his thing. He'll do his thing. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous boat ride. Oh, yeah. Mm, no point really going back. We've already seen all that. Let's see this. This is my, honestly, I love this part right here. This is some like magical feel to it honestly I don't know how else to describe it like look at that mm, it's like a little sewer feel thing for this coliseum over here and oh yeah oh yeah boom funnels out into the swamp <laughs> look at that look at that and and there's another way in over here. We have another part of the sewer, or, or you know, river, whatever you call it, whatever you want to call it. A little magical, super lit up, obviously, because I'm just trying to fight things up there just to make sure I'm not drowned. Look at that. Mm hmm. Yeah, and if you just continue on this little adventure and just immerse yourself in the magic, and you're just like, hmm, isn't that wonderful? Obviously, it's not done. Obviously, it's gonna be like a whole nother layer. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And like st it stands and all kinds of craziness. Yeah, but look at that. You just kind of like enter this little lagoon. You're like, oh, so magical. What's this? Oh, there's a little way in. Oh. Huh. Oh. What's this? Huh. What could this be? What? A chest monster? What the? What? <laughs> no, just kidding. No chest monster. Don't worry about the chest monster. Don't look at that. There's no chest monster. You're seeing things. Yes. It's a nice lush cave. It's not it was never a lush cave to begin with. We turned it into one. Nice sampling of everything. It's basically we call this the Garden of Eden. Yeah, it's a kind of like a poor core thing. You could just jump on top of the trees and whatnot too. You go through here and you're like, oh, what's this? Huh, there must be nothing here. You could also take the river path and also be like, oh there's nothing here. Oh yeah. And then it just magically opens up into this. Look at this. Look at all this. It's the super parkour course. And Excalibur, of course. Oh yeah, that's part of the scavenger. Right, right, right. We got a Marceline. Yeah, she's just the black bunny. I, don't know, I think it was kind of hard to get it, the black bunny, right? That's what it was. It was kind of a pain. That's why he's here. 
Oh, she's here. And yeah, this is the parkour course over here. You just kind of, you know, wow, whoa. Yeah, you, I kind of cheated. You get the point. You get around, and you get a prize. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kind of cheat, and that's the prize over there. And also the center over there. And yeah, Botanical Garden, a.k.a. the Garden of Eden, where we have all our garden and beautiful stuff and whatnot. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe we could add a couple of things. Maybe some custom trees or something. Huh. Yeah, there's mushrooms. There's mushrooms. There's, there's, there's mushrooms. They're there. I believe we're pretty much done with this area. Minus the shopping district and the world tree. So, let's get to the world tree, I guess. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Huh. Yeah, we'll save we'll save the natural terrain generation. There's some cool generation over there. But we'll see how for later. This is gonna be a zoo. Let's see we got ourselves a little fountain. And my Rocky's working on that right now. Yeah. Nice little fountain going on, a little dolphin going on. And I was supposed to build something in here. Uh, I've been kind of preoccupied, I'm not gonna lie, on my shop, which is over here. I guess we should, yeah, well, let's we'll take a look at the shopping district first. So, there's my shop. From the top. <laughs> the legend is, is based on a real place in Lithuania. That's the flag of the place. Apparently there's like a wolf that was like the, yeah, the king saw a wolf in his dream on top of this hill and then the seers kind of said that you should build the city on and around this hill, slash a castle on here and it'll last forever and be impenetrable. And while I'm building this kind of like tower area, which I originally was building out of nowhere, our buddy down here, he spawned. This guy. I love this guy. He spawned down here. Which I don't think they're supposed to be doing as far I think this is supposed to be an outside spawn. Yeah, so I mean I just kinda took it as a sign and started just dedicating the whole thing to him. <laughs> yeah, let's see it from the outside. Here we go. Here it is in all its glory. Oh yeah. We'll see it from up top in a second. There's a hotel kind of thing being built. Hey, look at that, the guild hall. Yeah, we'll see that in a second. Yeah, you go in here. Got another floor over here. And uh, it's more or less empty at the moment, but we got a little shopping area right here. We got a one diamond per four stacks of rockets. Little rocket going on, you know, and we got a dragon holding the treasure, hoarding all the gold and emeralds. Look at this gorgeous thing. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I mean, he had to fit in a five tall house and not take up too much space, so uh, I believe he's like a five by seven. Yeah, maybe I like a tutorial for that. You know, we got the gold. You know, not poor, you know, we got the moves, you know, you know, we got it, we got it, we got the good stuff. I think we even have some in this chest. This one, not so much. <laughs> yeah, see a little way up over here. You know, a little lookout, nothing too crazy. So you can see Big Ben. Yeah, there's a way in from each and every one of these windows as well, if you ever want to fly in. Peekaboo, you know, little peek over here. More or less, this is kind of based on the original Gediminas Tower. You know, Minecraft, you can't really pull off shapes that perfectly. There is that little bit that sticks out. So uh, let me show you my secret way in. Here we go. We just bada bing. Bada boom! Whoa, 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 whoa. Sometimes that happens because of slab. But you do that. 
No, well, actually, maybe we should take... Yeah, well, that's a secret way in. You know, you go all the way down. Yeah, it's the good stuff. We got it, yeah, boy. Jake, 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 Jake. Everything's fine, right? Everything's normal. Thumbs up. Everything's normal. Oh, it's not done yet. Yeah, we still got to get a dolphin in here. That's why there's a little hole in case y'all wondering uh, the bones and stuff in the front. Yeah, still got to get the dolphins. And we're going to despawn, but, you know, it happens. I guess I'll just live with it if it does. I think the tropical fish downstairs despawned. That's, that's just, yeah. Here we are. The main... HQ temporary thing. Oh, super clock. We got the clock and the clock, the grandfather clock, and then we got the table, and then we got the the, the, the disenchant, and then we got the the lodestone with the compass pointing. If you ever get lost and you need to find my shop, we got the oven, or, you know, the furnace and the yeah, yeah, and then the anvil down there. If you ever need to do stuff with the anvil. And then the, the table, you know, smithing and such. Yeah, you get the point. You know, we got the chairs. We got the chairs. Yeah. Yeah. We got the chairs. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. You know the deal. We'll keep it real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, you know. Yeah, we got the auto jukebox over here as well. Auto cauldron replacer. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. I believe this is Rogue Fox design. Yeah, Rogue Fox. Auto cauldron filler. The task board. Big Bad Bridge. Yeah, here's a little preview. You get the point. Yeah, auto play jukebox. Yeah, kind of felt it was kind of cool over here, you know. Get some meetings done and whatnot. Let's see, let's see. Huh. Is there a way in from here? I don't think so. We gotta go down a couple floors. Here we go. Oh no, there's a, there was a way in from up there. Yeah, I'll show you this. Like, see, there's a way right, right there. That's the way. I forgot for a second. That's what I wanted to show you. But anyways, here's a little proper. Oh, look at this pupper. He's so cute. He's the coolest pupper. He's the coolest pupper. He's so cute. Everybody loves this pupper so much. And there's a shark. As you know, sharks. <laughs> I don't know. I figured, it's an aquarium, why not? Whatever. He ain't bothering nobody. Just toss him in there. And conduit, obviously, for demonstration purposes and whatnot. I guess it's also kind of nice, you know, with the water effect. Yeah, this is. Spider spawner. Good old spiders. Hmm, are they gonna spawn? Hmm, I guess it's one of those things where I gotta log in and out of the game, but we're not gonna do that. Oh, right, right, right. We gotta cover this little tiny edge right here. This is a slime chunk. This is a slime chunk. The glass. Yeah, this is a concrete maker. You just put the concrete in here, bada bing, bada boom, it pushes it out. Uh, this is by Quarks. Q W O R K S. Quarks. I thought I had a sign. Hmm. Strange. Usually I have a sign. There it is. Aha. Quarks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, modified because, yeah, it used to be a tree farm as well. But I think the mechanics changed or something. Cactus farm for dye. Also, pick sea pickles for dye. Silent Whisperer farm. I believe that one's JC Plays, right? Yeah, JC Plays for the cactus. This used to be the old way down. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I still got to move that. Totally forgot. That. Into the cave. Over here. Nothing too special into the cave. Yeah, we got ourselves 
The beautiful sheep, every color, plus yellow and purple, cause room, you know, extra. And Mr. Beardstones, good old cocoa bean farm. You get the point, you know, things shoot out, you get the cocoa bean, you replant it, bada bing bada boom, lava farm right underneath the sea pickles. And we also have, oh, huh, how did that look up? We got the good old, uh, what's his name, bamboo, right, 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 bamboo, I think this one, I think, not too sure, I might have been someone, one of the previously mentioned guys, or I might have been me, who knows, it's not too special. It traps a uh, wandering trader in there too, and uh, yeah, you just get some bamboo, you turn that into scaffolding with the string, you know, bada bing, bada boom. And we got the honey over here as well, you know, in case you need some candles. Slack lizard, oh, this farm is great, my friend. Slack lizard, thank you so much. Dye farm, ladies and gentlemen, any color, well, other than lime, brown, white, black, and lime green because you need those for special other items but any other color you need butter bing butter boom it's right here we're also missing like gray i believe yeah we're missing like gray flower but i'll find that eventually at some point yeah that's the beauty of that and we got the other doggo look at the other doggo oh wait a minute i didn't even show you guys this part yeah look at that you got a little bridge oh look at that mm. That's lava. And that is just a random cave that I think leads up to one of the some some other cave. Who knows? We got the flamingo over here, we got the rubber ducky and jump in. We got the dog. The dog loves you gentlemen. Look at how pretty. You suck. You got the tongue. He's that curiosity. And we got the tropical fish. Look at that. He's just like spinning. Don't worry about it. He's he's a right. he spins. He does the spinning. Yep, that's the beauty of it, ladies and gentlemen. I think the other tropical fish despawned, and I guess that's kind of the beauty of the beauty. But here's the farms. We got ourselves Zap One One Three. Thank you very much for this beauty. He's been serving uh, serving us quite well. You know, we got ourselves, while we're building, not a bad reserve of mushrooms, I'd say. Not bad at all. Yeah, this is just for like, you know, just in case, kind of thing. And we just shoot ourselves back up. That's the shop, pretty much, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, still needs to get filled in and whatnot, more or less. You press this button right here, and boop. You're back on time. Let's see, we got the road. We got some of the other shops in town. This is my friend right here in my Rockies shop. He kind of I told him, you know, he's a concrete shop and I think he also sells amethyst. Yeah. Yeah, I kinda of told him to take this one. This was originally supposed to be the guild hall, but then I was just like, dude. Come on, just take this as your shop. What are you doing? The guild hall's over there. And this is also the hotel. Huh, let's see the, my shop from the top real quick. A little look, look see. Whoop. Yeah, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I love this view right here. It's just gorgeous. You get to see Big Ben, Stonehenge. No roof on Big Ben yet, but you know, yeah, we got my shop and we got the good old HQ basically. There's a train station over there, that's from the Mojang book, and where Rocky built that. There's a little wood shop over here, no longer in use technically. This one right here is Grim Reaper shop. All gold, you know, more or less from the gold shop, uh, from the gold mine you guys saw earlier, kind of a bit of it, I 
gave it to her. And yeah, this is the guild hall. We're gonna have a bunch of quests and whatnot for people, like finding Pickstep, for example. <laughs> I'm willing to give up, like, bro, like three, four diamond blocks. Uh oh. Uh oh, someone needs to lay up their build. Yeah, alright, I guess let's take a look at the train station for a second. This is from the Mojang book, I believe. And here's a box in case he does watch this video. That's that's the box I was talking about. And then we did have lanterns. Well, <laughs> yeah, this is the train stop. Look at that. You gotta to go in. I kind of cheated. Oops. That's right. I paid my ticket. That's right. That's right. Little waiting area, and then you choo choo. You know, you hear your stop coming in, and you're like, we get in here, but you know, we're gonna go with the aqueduct. So. I don't know, maybe we'll retire this or something, we'll figure something out for it. And off we go! To the world tree! Whee! Oh yeah, our whole area is surrounded by a natural river. I think we'll, it doesn't connect all the way, there's a slight bit by Cthulhu that doesn't connect. So we're gonna have to connect that. Yeah, there's world tree. I kind of just chose this area because it was like a crescent moon shape and I was like, no, this might work. This might work. Like, look at this. You sail in and you inside this epic tree. You know, obviously there's going to be roots and such, but yeah, you just the epic tree. And then I guess I should just show you guys real quick the manual tree farm. Well, automated tree farm, silent whispers design over here. You know, yeah. Let me get a sapling. Oh, 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 oh. We need, we need a, we need some food. Okay, perfect. We have a sapling right here. You put the sapling in, and then the thing gets sucked up. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. And then it gets pushed over here, and then gets turned into the giant cube maker in the back. I don't remember who I took the cube maker design from. But you just type in Cube Maker, you get the guy. You get the guy. He's the greatest guy ever, bro. He's so good. He's the greatest. Yeah, this is the Cube Maker. You know, surrounded by a uh, crying obsidian. Anyone else? You don't bust it. You know, using an axe. I got the haste effect, and this is for my double wide farm over here. Yeah, this is JC Plays design. You know. Climb up there, chop it down, bada bing, bada boom, everything ends up in that box down there. Alright, let's show you guys the real magic. This is what you guys are here for, I know it. So, as I was working on the world tree, all of a sudden, I was like, you know what, let me put a beacon. Let me, let me, oh. let me go ahead and put a beacon in this area. So I dug down to... The original world height, well, you know, bottom, whatever, world bottom, which was like right around here, and then out of nowhere, I noticed in the distance, in the gravel, actually, <laughs> boom, one spawner, and then in the, turn to the other side, what's this? What's this? Is this a second spawner? Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen, right in the middle. You stand in here, you flip the switch, and bada bing, bada boom, you get the good old stuff. But I also turned it into a drowned conversion chamber. Here's my own little part to it. I'll show you guys a tutorial for that in just, uh, I think, probably next episode, honestly. Because that right there is the key, my friends. That right there is your best friend. Hmm, let's see. Do we have a little access area? I think we do. Right here we go. Boom. Right here. Yeah. So these guys get pushed up on the water column, but are being bada boom pushed in there, and then get converted with the spider web in there. You see that? You know what? There's no need for a tutorial. <laughs> here you go, guys. If you actually do watch this, nah, just kidding. <laughs> and we'll do the tutorial. Yep, that's it. That's the beauty. It produces real nice. It just pumps things out and doesn't lag out your world. It just, it's, it's, it's wonderful. I love it. Yeah, 
right, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, actually, we do have some villagers down here using the good old... Oh, right, we never switched the villager training hall. Well, this is a little tiny training hall over here. We get the discount, because on Bedrock, if uh, we get the villagers, the zombie villagers spawn in from um, the spawners, so they give us a discount for some reason, and yeah. Let's just build, working on that mechanic with just double the spawns, double the discounts, baby, even though there's mostly masons and they don't need a discount. <laughs> Here's the actual trading hall. Oh boy, I actually didn't really show you guys the the catacombs as much. Yeah, I guess. Here we go. Right here is our trading hall. And oh boy, is this thing a, was this thing a pain? But was it worth it? Oh, yes. A hundred percent. Ladies and gentlemen, a hundred percent. Yeah, look at that ominous music. I love it. Yeah, it's built around that spawner mechanic, like I said. So we just forever get discounts. Uh, everything's labeled. If you see the carpet, I, that's uh, golden carrots, I believe, for the farmers. And, um,. Yeah, we got uh, pretty much literally every single item you can trade or imagine. Some of these guys are missing. That's why, because uh, I think there's just too much of them or something. Maybe they're on like a chunk board or something. I don't know what happens, but they're, they despawn. But it's none of the important guys. It's just the banner and then I think some of the extra, what's his names? The poaching guys, the clerics or whatever. Yeah, there's a uh, Rotten Flesh, if you ever want to trade with them, they get funneled in here, from there, bada bing, bada boom, you know, you get some extra diamonds, but we got a raid farm, we'll show you that later. We got the good old archers over here, cauldron guys, we got the disenchantment guy, whatever guy, whatever his name is, one leather worker over here, we got a fisherman, oh, armor, I think, or something, what's, what's your name, man? The Weaponsmith, of course. The Weaponsmith, he gives you the greatest weapons of all time. You get the Butcher. Let's see, we got the Cartographers, and we got the the good old, um, hmm, who are these, the, the Armors. Yeah, yeah, that's the Armors. The good old Armors is so powerful with the armor. How many do we even have? We have all of them. We have all the greatest Armors and the Toolsmiths in town, maybe. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. You, you see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, everything for one one emerald. That's all we need. That's all you get. Oh, and some of these places have, like, farms that don't really function anymore, per se, I think. Yeah, like, this one right here doesn't really work anymore. Um, the wool farm does. I don't even know if we still don't have shears. Whatever. That's not the point. We don't, we don't, we're not going to be trading. This used to be a zero tick sugar farm, don't work no more. Also, it's in the middle of the slime junk, hence the glass. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, we got ourselves the good old, um, what's his name? Uh, everybody. We got the stonemasons right here. The, every single block you want, I think doubles of each, other than, uh, a double of this boy. No, not this boy. This boy. The blue terracotta. Oh, was it a pain getting this guy. Only one. So, I figured, you know, you're only supposed to find that in one place inside the temple. So, I didn't really kind of want to flood the market, per se, kind of thing going on. Down here, one floor. I forgot to show you guys. We have every single book. Also, for one emerald because you know we're nice like that one emerald one book yeah like that every single one of them no curing needed they just you know we're just nice guys we just do money excel over here and they're like here you go kiddo some of the stuff isn't all the way decreased you know i think maybe curing could get it down further maybe but i don't care we're rich we got plenty of emeralds let's see final floor Oh, hold on. Here we go. No? Wait a minute. I could have swore. Yeah, there it is. Wow. I can't believe I just got lost in one place. Yep. 
Not fully yet finished decorating this. Yeah, this is our super brand jukebox. Look at that. Mm, decorating with diamonds because we balled it. If you ever uh, want to look for a little secret, you got some Ice King's tears over here. Probably should use gas tears for that, but, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll get them eventually. Boom, secrets. What other secrets could there possibly be? Do you see it? Uh-huh. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely not there. Definitely not there. Uh-huh. I guess... Kinda busted. Kinda busted. Don't... Eh, that, that didn't happen. Don't, don't worry about it. That's, that's nothing. That's nothing. This is the old furnace gods. Uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. So we're all loaded and ready to go. And a good old snow golem for snow making. Rip. Rip. I thought they were removing the items from chests, by the way. Some, something affected it or something. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Enchanting station. Just in case anyone wants, you know, all purpose. And yeah, that's that's the magic of this place. Actually, might as well show you the final place in Rome that made it all happen, which is the villager breeder, which is uh, down here. Can we fly down this? No, I didn't want any end of it, so I made it too tall. Mm -hmm. That down there is real quick. We were like, oh yeah, let's just change professions, but. Figured, figured it's better just do it at the location. And yeah, villager breeder. Yep. For some reason, I need those beds, because if I don't make new beds, they just don't breed. I don't know. Maybe a bug. Who knows? And this leads back to the industrial district. This over here, if you actually follow it all the way on this rail line, takes you to the world tree. And back to the technically the storage facility as well. We use this as like a before we captured the villagers in here and then brought them in. You know, this is like a little fighting area, but we dug it all out. It's all changing as a yeah. This was a CD gathering area actually. That's what it was. CD gathering. I think we have some still here. Yep. General mob. Just you know, you and the mob. The good old style, the fisty cuffs. Oh, this path also leads to the industrial district. You go, keep going on in on the left, and to the right, back to Stonehenge. Yeah, I think we're done with Rome. Woohoo! That's one place complete. Here we go. Our first portal. Well, no, actually, industrial district was our first portal. Over there. We used the actual portal that was there yeah then we just look set this one up for fast travel and you know no need to like waste food in the beginning we move the entire another thing down here I mean obviously it needs work I haven't really done much as you can see but here's our buddy the super horse He's going to be known as Heimdall. Heimdall. The Project Heimdall. If you guys know Thor and whatnot. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's just show a demonstration real quick. You see that? There's 100 blocks. Whee! And there's 100 right there. And we're thinking of 27. Bada bing, bada boom. Look how fast we go, baby. Another travel. Yeah. Let's say we have it on lock. Welcome to Port Royale, ladies and gentlemen. This was our original geode. When one that eighteen dropped. One that seventeen. One that seventeen dropped. And we were so proud of this place. Because it's close by and we didn't somehow explore it. Because it's like in the middle of the ocean. So at the same time I figured why not build um foxy no tails and slack lizards famous ink farm and 
here is in action, I guess. We're gonna do another video where we like review these farms and whatnot and show you more or less in action than this. Yeah, we get tridents from that because uh, they like to drop the Nautilus shells and then. Well, if there's a Nautilus shell floating around, they'll drop their trident for the Nautilus shell and then you get a full durability trident. Right out, you know, in survival. Which, honestly, <laughs> felt like some sort of, like, hack or something at first. Or it still does, honestly. Look at this. Full durability. Tried it. <laughs> this was hooked up into a furnace god, you know, direct feeding it. And the furnace god actually went down to a original world height. Well, you know, world depth. World bottom. I don't know what the magical word is for it. You get the point. You get what I'm talking about. Yeah. So we got the furnace god going all the way down. This is the geode. Let's see. Oh, we got the dripstone farm over here. I figured I'd just make the giant version. See how this works out. Turns out it's actually kind of slow. It's actually kind of slow in comparison to the smaller guys. Definitely build the smaller guys. These guys right here. They just, in comparison to how much, you know, just, whew, they pump. They pump out the good stuff. Back there, we got a little seagrass farm. I think, what is it called? The coral fans and whatnot, and coral in general. I think this one is JC's design? Either JC or Silent Whisper. But I'm pretty sure this one's JC. Yeah, we do have a Silent Whisper design down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, here we go. There's a Silent Whisper. We're gonna do the same, you know, thing as in my shop. Little sea pickles. There's a way into the yeah. Here we go. There's a way in like to the underneath like caves or whatnot that are flooded over here, and there's another geode access point, which and my reaper uses down as you keep going to the furnace god being fed. I don't even think we. I think we got to like the seventh chest by the time we got past. Let's see how far did we get. Oh boy. Well, I think this one over here is. Kind of, I guess, would be recent. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven whole double chest worth of just XP being pumped out with each pull. It was nice. Honestly, when I was like at level thousand, I I did some enchanting for the PlayStation, our friend user. So I lost five hundred levels doing that. You know, he needed new gear, so, yeah, but uh, I was leveled to 1,000. I don't want to say thanks to this, honestly, more or less I was just fixing gear with this. So maybe like 30 levels? Nah, nah, nah. Okay, like 100 levels. I probably got 100 levels with this bad boy, but like I, when I was getting to 1,000, and it was giving me like a full level each pull. Like, yeah, that thing was monster. Here we go, uh... I mean, pretend that the crystals are all grown. I didn't just steal the crystals earlier. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You get the point. They're, they're there. It's a cool area. Yep, yep, it's all flooded. Silent Whispers idea. Yeah, this one's more manual. Alright, here we go. Here we go. So you come out of here. And you're greeted by the greatest thing you probably ever see in Minecraft. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm very proud of this thing. Look at this bad boy. You swim out here, and this is why it's called Port Royal. Port Royal is actually a pirate island. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In all its glory. Built on a diagonal. Yeah, <laughs> inside his head is, of course, a conduit. 
you know, and yeah, some of the magic. Yeah. I don't know. I really like the way this bad boy came out. Oh, someone's murdering me. I'm out of water. Oh, it's a trident boy. I don't even want the trident. That's how many I have. And somehow we also turn into a tropical area over here. That's a uh, warm water, warm ocean thing. So we get tropical fish now as well. So that's kind of cool, I guess. But uh, yeah, look at this bad boy. Mm, mm, mm. Tough. Tough, I'd say. So, yeah, I guess let me give you guys an overview of what I want to do with this area. I just want to build, like, a giant castle, per se, you know? Like, in the middle of water. Nice tower over here, another tower over here, another tower over there, another tower over there. Iron farm, up there. Iron farm at this level. Hold on. Yeah, we, gotta, we still got to drain these bad boys. As you can see, I'm kind of starting it. I think the water level... Supposed to, yeah, they're right there. That's the water level. Oh, I mean the other iron farm level. Sound whispers idea. Yeah, gonna see if that works. Hopefully, get all four running at the same time. It's kind of overkill, not necessary, but I figured why not? Why not? If we're AFKing up in that one little spot, all four can run. Why not? Yeah, I mean that's pretty much it for poor Royale. And now we get to go to the other places. <sighs> oh. Passing say not too impressive honestly it's our original city yeah if you guys ever watched the avatar we kind of was like yeah 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 this is gonna be so cool and whatnot eh, I guess I'll show you but a bing but a boom world tour world tour and get that back Well, this is our first village. I was protecting them. I'm like, no! Nothing goes through the portal, kills my villagers. How's the portal inside a <laughs> little cube? We put a little, like, uh. Honestly, it feels more like a guard tower at this point. Just making sure everything's all safe. But, yeah, I mean, from the top, we needed to see if everything's lit up, and then, you know, the lighting mechanics were all different back then. So, if, like, a little tiny darkness a little bit of not the lights not touching there or something and then you know your whole village dies no one wants that to happen yeah I mean we got the walls aka bossing say yeah not nothing too crazy in this here part you know doors also connected with redstone not too crazy so rudimentary storage system Here's, I think yeah there is a villager the villager used to just stand up here and you know look like he's gonna do the deed that no one to do so we decided to just like uh put some dirt and just box them all in yep pretty much bare bones nothing too crazy you get the idea wait a minute is that a bridge huh I don't know Whatever. No, don't ask no questions. Everybody here in a minute. Alright. What's next on the list? I believe we have Baba Yaga's. Which is, if you know your Slavic folklore, basically the witch hut. Oh no, where did you go? Here you are. And, boom, right here. Don't you just love this method of travel? Oh, 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 I don't think so, kiddo. I don't think so, dude. 
Do we have all the stuff here? We have the stuff. We got the stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry about it. We got all the stuff. This is a work in progress, again. This is the Immortalizer, essentially, if you guys know Silent Whisperer's video. Turns mobs immortal. I don't really use it, per se, I just figured that whole, like, wolf thing I mentioned earlier, might as well have, like, an immortal wolf, so I got one of those bad boys. Yeah, so this is like a witch's, like a chicken foot kind of feel to it. You know, like a witch house on a chicken foot. I didn't build the house, kind of working on the shape of the chicken foot. So, and obviously you're still missing the middle toe over here. See that line? Yeah, that's going to be the middle toe. See, it's kind of like a chicken foot. Yeah, 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 you see it? You see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe you'll see it in a second. Hold on. Let's turn this bad boy on. We'll show you with the... The magical stuff. Hey, look at you. Hey, how is it going, buddy? Oh, goodbye. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, this is kind of my design, I guess. I uh, built the clock to burn off the XP, essentially, because, I don't know, Slack Wizards thing with the whole putting glass on the bottom, the glass pane. I don't know, in the campfire, uh, the trident ends up falling in there, and it's just a nightmare, it just doesn't work. So, I just burn it off with lava every once in a while with the clock over here. Bada bing, bada boom, everything works, and then it sucks it back up. You know, XP gets burnt. Down here we have an automatic storage system, which I'm also going to have like a brewing thing set up with the potions and such. You know, it's still a work in progress. With the burner on the back, obviously, and you know, all the delicious items sorted. I guess let's show you this bad boy in action. Oh, yeah, while we're down here, it also works. It's just the right amount of distance. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. You stand in the right here, right? Yes, you stand right here, and the witches fall to their demise. Wait, did we have the glass thing? Yeah, we do have the glass thing. Hmm. Hmm. So wait, why did we get the burner? Just in case kind of thing going on? I don't know. It doesn't mess with the rates. It, it just helps it out. Something to do with something. We'll discuss it in a later video, ladies and gentlemen. But for now, we gotta go to the next area. Should we fly over there is the true question. Nah. But there is an underground way to get there. See, back in the day, you just go down here. We'll show you that later. Like, the other end of it, it's just a little rail yard. Bada bing, bada boom, we'll walk through the nether. Alright, 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 here we go. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, this needs work. I'm gonna play, put a glass path, and then like an outline for each area, like just to guide it. Again, still needs work. I don't really have a full idea of what the whole nether hub I want it to look like yet. You know, especially with all the updates coming out. Maybe I'll change it around and such. Yeah, this is the railroad path back there where we saw it earlier. You know, it ends you right here. You take this little elevator. You can also climb the vines if you feel like wasting two hours. Go right through here, right through here. That's the vines back there where you saw them earlier. And we have ourselves an outpost, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting. Why is there a thing sticking out? I don't know. There's a thing sticking out. So, down here we have automatic storage. All the good old gems and such. 
yeah so everything's sorted we got the emeralds i believe i emptied it out recently yeah everything's automated if you ever need the totems you know there's a way to turn it off from burning them oh boy ouch hold on yeah so the captain guy gets killed right around huh I think he gets killed over here yeah captain guy gets killed right here bada bing bada boom why is he not getting killed interesting interesting hold on a second here fella oh boy there we go uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. not today kiddo not today we go and magically refill our hunger bar even though i have no idea how hungry we are in the face in the face my friend in the face again in the f oh they're all dead they're dead maybe we should pick up this trident huh huh hold on what's going on here there it is that is so weird okay so let's just break this pick this up real quick so I'm going to turn this off uh, it's giving me a pain this is giving me a pain Okay. Toss that. Close that. Press the button. This should work. This should work. Anyway. Let's see the rest. Here we go. You climb up here. You get the bad omen. Eventually you keep climbing. And you hit to the villager. And you start the raid, bada bing bada boom baby, you flip this button right here, and the guys get murdered. I guess we have to sit this one through. Hey, it's your boy Post Edit, completely forgot the lore of the world. So, long story short, we got attacked by every other dimension while we were in the overworld, the nether came by, the end came by, and maybe the new dimension also came by and just decided to, you know, mess with us, and we're just like, eh. Nah, adapted their technology and whatnot, and then took them back. Bada bing, bada boom. And here we are at the end of the raid. And yeah, that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one, you, you're done. You're done. It's just how it's done. It's simple, you know. Oh, there's my skeleton farm right next to it, actually go in here you press the button you know I felt like it was needed a secure area and you just go down here and you're like oh yeah let me just flip the switch and then bada bing bada boom the good old skeletons that go to their demise and I believe this is a JC place design if not I mean I could have just figured it out myself it's not that hard you just push the mobs into the corner and they die bada bing bada boom simple and plain might have been some adjustments made by me. Who knows? It's it's the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's the good stuff. Don't worry. We're all professionals out here. We're professionals. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. So yeah. See, that's the raid farm. We'll go ahead and go in this place right here. We'll go in this place right here. Bar by the logs. A little hidden, but. Find it. Boom. Right here. That's actually the way up. This right here. And bada bing bada boom. We're going back down, baby. Yeah, it's just to keep the raids from going through the portal and whatnot. Obviously, that's right down here. I mean, it shouldn't be that far down. But I figured it'd be cool, you know. So I did it. It's done. Oh, uh, here we go. Back to the nether.
now to our desert mining area. Usually there's not much to show off, but recently I did add this one addition for the aforementioned jump boost potion. This is basically a general mob farm, but if you build it in the desert, only bunnies will spawn, because that's what spawns in the desert. So here's our good old just dug out. You just fly up there for now. Well, right, I guess do some stair climbing. Why not? Yeah, so you come up here, you flip the switch, you flip that switch over there and that one. Obviously, I could have built more, but I kind of figured there's really no point. Since we don't need the rabbits anyway. Rabbits feed for the jump boost since we can't pass it on to our horses and donkeys when they breed. So there's no point. But yeah, they fall down there, they they die with the trident killer. You get the point. Boom. All dug out. Oh, we do have a fossil. We do have a fossil. Where is it? It's over here. Oh, low and fireworks. Oh, hello, my friend. Yeah, this is a fossil right here. We found natural. Really? Oh, okay. I was about to say, that's not a fast creeper, is it? Yeah. So... Natural fossil. I think it's one of the head things or something. Who knows? Body, whatever. You get the idea. We kept it lit. That's right. Alright, let's get out of here. I need some more fireworks while we're at it. Oh, wrong door. Oops. Yeah, this is more. This is very makeshift. This is just mining desert. Nothing crazy. our hunger bar, right? Could be hungry, could be full. Better save this side. This takes forever without the fast horse. And that's why we got the fast horse. Hey there, little fella. <coughs> Did we go the wrong way? Probably. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so you go this way. Bada bing, bada boom. This way is Mushroom Island. Nothing too crazy. I just figured before the world gen changes, find one. And that's the closest one. It's like thousands of blocks. Not about to show you that. We'll leave that for last for now. Well, not last, last, but yeah. Here's our... Hey, 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 back here. This is our guardian form. Ocean Monument and my good old... Yeah, my name's David, if y'all wonder. <laughs> here we go. Uh, rudimentary little house. JC plays tutorial got you got a tutorial for this going here and the guardians you know they get chopped up here we go give it a second we should see him coming up and three two one bada bing bada boom baby look at that it was making a rain kid yeah they just yeah they pour they they pour Oh, hey, hey, oh, yeah, don't, don't worry about that, don't, don't worry about that, don't. That happens if you don't block yourself in. <laughs> you just put a little block in, don't worry, that doesn't happen, you don't gotta worry about that. Sorted, you know, burn the fish, the rest doesn't really need sorting, you get the point. Gold farm time. So you fly out here. You know, I wanted to keep it away from everything just in case some piglin get angry and whatnot. Yeah, this bad boy, this monstrosity. I don't remember. I want to say this is Foxy's design, honestly. Foxy and Slack Lizard. Foxy, no tail. But I'm not sure. I don't remember who it was. But, you know, you look up 
four gold farm thing and you'll get it. You flip this switch, this is Silent Whispers, Silent Whispers, Trident Killer. It's so powerful that it needs four different sorters and no, three different sorting collection points to pick it up from and start sorting. Yeah, you get the point. They, they, get, they get flooded real quick. Real quick. Actually, let me show you the downstairs and let it flood meanwhile. Yeah, so everything goes collects up in here. It gets flooded fairly quickly. Those are just leftovers from last time. I think the right side takes the stuff. Yeah, the right side starts sucking up stuff first. Yeah, basically the vault. Uh, do we have a music box around here? I think we do. Is that, is that what I heard? No, I, I might be hallucinating. Yeah, it gets filled fairly quickly. Yeah, turn this off. Yep. You get the point. We'll leave them there. Just spawn. Alright. The checklist is almost done, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting close. There we go. We're back. Oh. Yeah, yeah, just, oh, no. Here we go. Look, 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 and we're back. I guess, let's take a look at the piglin bartering first. Because we don't really need the horse for that, so we'll leave him parked. I'll be back, don't worry. I'm, I'm right here, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay. Bada bing, piglin, traders. Press this button, and we're off. Boom. Get all the sorted out, you know, sorting it out. All right, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Burned all the bad stuff. bad boys are right here look at that mm -mm -mm. originally when the glitch was going with like you could get millions of them I had that I didn't really run it for that long don't worry we didn't really cheese it I think we got like maybe I think it was just like enough obsidian to build that gold farm you guys just saw earlier and then I you know it got patched out you got patched real quick so we got the rest of these guys you flip this button over here and then you get them angry the gold block moves up and down and I believe it's run by a hopper clock that's... Hold on, I'll tell you how much is in the hopper. The hopper clock is with four dirt. Yep, four, four blocks. That's all you need in between each trade. I mean, I could slow it down and help it process faster. But it keeps up for the one dime... I mean, one one gold block you just turn those into ingots and it just fills up the entire thing you know bada bing bada boom if you want to do more you can i don't fully suggest it but you know probably need to slow this bad boy down a little bit but yeah as that oh this this over here leads to our old nether tunnel over here this was an old nether tunnel we don't talk about that don't worry about it it's, it's there oh oh Alright, now that we're done with this part, let's take a little trip back downstairs. Whee! Back. Um, yeah, probably should put these bad boys back in our hand. There we go. Hey, buddy. Miss me too much, did you? Oh, 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 he's gonna run away. No, we're good. There we go. And to the nether farm, baby, the nether fortress. We have a bastion left. And a couple, oh, this used to be the. I don't know why, but for some reason it just magically disappeared. This is the path to, like, our old jungle and, like, some other areas, but. Not really necessary, not gonna lie, so I'm not too upset it somehow magically sealed itself back up. Yeah, if you'd read that, you get the idea. 
press this, close the door. Over here is our old weather fighting area. There's another weather fighting area in another area, but yeah, I used to fight it there. However, we're far more sophisticated than that now. Oh yeah, through the lava. Yeah, through the lava. Yeah, yeah, we, we nice like that. Yeah, fire resistance all day, baby. Look at that. So you walk in here, you get inside the fortress. These over here are actually some of the spawn spots I've marked out. But I, you know, put glass on it so none of them take up the mob cap. You go in here. You got ourselves a blaze spawner. And the whole thing is kind of centered around that. You flip this switch, the blaze spawners, you know, do their thing. You flip this switch and all the other spawners do their thing. This is JC Plays. Wither Skeleton Killer farm weather farm I guess you call it yeah weather farm and yeah just a bunch of them hooked up and the hop hoppers hooked up there's three of them so there's one over there there's one over here and there's one over here all three hook up into this one central part over here with the sorters wow I already got a I already got a skull huh not bad I'm not even holding my sword yeah, you get the idea. Turn it, oh, I forgot to turn off the lower one. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Done. Yeah. This farm, I mean this fortress is actually on the same level. Well, no, this level right here. This level right here was the original level. Yeah, this originally goes to the our original stuff. And if you keep going that way, that's the panda area that I was talking about and whatnot, blah blah blah. You go up here, and you get to the beauty. The monstrosity itself. I do need a faster way up, I'm not gonna lie. But I am kinda scared of it escaping. So, you know what it is, if you're in a know. Here's our chickens. This is also JC Plays with a killer design. You got the chicken killer over here. You know, you collect poison potion. You just press that button. Psh, chickens, you know, they get spat out. Flip the switch. You know, shoot out all the chickens you need. Poison down here. They get down to one HP. You summon the wither on. You place the wither thingy right here, and then the plus sign over here. Yeah, here you just you do it like this. And then you do it like this, and then you do it like this, and then you put the three skulls, and bada bing bada boom, it suffocates itself and dies right here. You don't gotta do nothing, baby, and you get to collect the wither roses underneath. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. Wither killer. Yeah. So. Finally, I guess we'll do a little bit of a time skip at this part because we're gonna do a little bit of traveling. Man, I'll just jump down. I don't care. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hello, my friend. No time skip for you guys. It's fast. Don't worry about it. We just go bada bing. And by the time I'm gonna say the final words, which you already know, are bada boom. Wait. Just follow the runner. The signs. All rows lead back to Rome. You're gonna end up right back where you need to be. Look at that. 300. Boom. Back down to 200. Mm. Back down to 100. Uh. And now we're making the turn, and now we're here, kiddo. Yeah, look, see that? We got the world tree over here, we got Rome over here, and we got the industrial district right here. Boom, bam, boom, kid. Yeah, we just go down this way, and this is towards the Woodland Mansion. You guys have seen the Woodland Mansion before, right? 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 Yeah, you get the idea. It's a woodland mansion, my friends. Oh, 
Oh, okay. No Willie Mansion for you. Alright. You get the point. It's a Willie Mansion. So, it's gonna be like an aquarium later on. Uh, I would like to show you guys when that happens. But, for now, here is our Bastion with our very own Magma Thief Warner. And this is a very long train card ride, so hold, step yourselves in. Alright, we're here. So, alright. This is kind of like a mixture of multiple designs. I believe this is JC Plays design. I think. I think. Yeah, basically, long story short, the, you know, the Magma Cube. Well, uh, I did my own twist on it, though, yeah. So, but, you know, over here, they get into the Wither Roses. They get damaged because they don't get damaged by anything else. You are the target, so they kind of like just pick you as a target, jump down over here, jump down to the next one. They get broken down to smaller pieces. Once they get that broken down to smaller pieces, they can finally fit into the Trident Killer. You flip the Trident Killer, and bada bing, bada boom, you get all the good stuff you need with the Looting Sword. You know? Nothing too crazy. Yeah, it's a Bastion. Regular Bastion. Nothing too crazy. No pick step, unfortunately. Yeah. I guess finally we have two more areas to check out. And we'll be done with the tour. Ladies and gentlemen, aren't you excited? And we can get on with actual episodes and building the wonderful things that we've been talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here we go, the quickest nether ride you'll ever see. Look at this BB, BB, BB. Boom, just like that. We're here. This is the end. Obviously, saving that for the end. There's nothing crazy there, though. Way back to the old nether hub. You know, a little horse holding facility over here. Just in case. It's not really horse friendly up there. This over here is where we get our netherite mining done. And our badlands are like thousands and thousands and thousands of blocks over there, but we're probably gonna get a new one if we can somehow get the realm on a PC. Maybe we'll even trim that out of existence entirely, to be honest. And over here we have Silent Whispers Gold Farm. I'm not gonna lie to you ladies and gentlemen, maybe it's the realm, maybe I did something wrong, I, but I don't think so, cause, boy oh boy, look how far I had to travel to get a place like this, my friends. A thousand blocks and then a thousand blocks over here, and then good four, like 300 going the other way, like, come on, you know, you, you would think, you would think all your work would pay off, but no. Look at that, I had to dig through the lava. Through the lava, my friends. Look at that perimeter. Look at that perimeter. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Just look at that. The rates are not as advertised, ladies and gentlemen. It is like a quarter of what it was advertised. I think it was just like saying like a thousand, but it actually turned out to be like like 300, 400 honestly, like not even like it's barely scratching. Not worth it. Not worth it. It took me like two months, ladies and gentlemen. Two months. Don't do it to yourself. Not worth it. Sad. Yeah, I melted down the swords and everything, in case you're wondering. Hence the lava up there, hence this feeding tube system, hence those furnaces. Can you see the furnaces? Hence, these furnaces right here, fed with lava buckets from all the way up there. So much lava collected for no reason whatsoever. I do not use this at all. I just go back to my usual farm and then there was a little bit of a glitch thing where like it would just make like a strip so I had to brute force it. You know, I don't know. Let's go taking things. <laughs>
whatever, the T-shaped redstone flipper. And instead of um, activating it by observers or whatever, like, yeah, you just run it with the, with the T-shaped thing, with the redstone torch and the red, redstone uh, repeater and redstone piece of dust and switch, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that just brute forced it into working. So I never have to use that ever again, honestly. I'm very sad. Oh, 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 over here. We do have the new Mesa. Not much to show you there, the, you know, honestly. It was supposed to generate right on, uh, what's it called? The temple. A desert temple, but it did not generate for some reason. So, not really much to show you there. Just really cool new world generation, honestly, which you've all seen plenty of at this point. And for the finale, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh. This is our end. Boom, we just walk through here. And walk through here. And where? Yeah, middle of a floating land. Scary. Hello, my friend. Did I just directly look you in the eyes? Possibly. Who knows? I don't think he's bothering us, though. So, just continue on. Oh, is that him? Possibly. Yeah, there's a wither killer here. Yeah, he's definitely coming after us. Come and get some, my friend. Come and get some. Yeah, yeah, you want some? Trying to do a tour here. Rude. Yeah, weather killer, you get the point. You get you go down here, JC plays. Also has the chicken set up with the wither roses. Interesting. I didn't know they were shit. Oh, that's probably from fighting the dragon. Right, that's probably from fighting the dragon. I was thinking I'm like, why is there chickens? Oh, we just poisoned ourselves. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's probably not the best. All right. We have the beacon. Right. Nothing to fear. You get the point. End islands. We beat it twice. There's one over here. There's one over there. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. We out. Oh yeah. We set a spawn point in one of these beds. I forgot. Well. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. More to come. Uh, let me know if you like it down in the comments below. below. Leave a like. And, yeah, stay safe.